21 Savage is currently one of the biggest rappers on this planet. Be far well, I'm a member. Yeah. Leave a call like December. 54 million monthly listeners on Spotify alone. Songs with several hundred million streams, some even surpassing a billion. And now freshly released is his latest studio album, American Dream. An album on which he collaborates with artists like Young Thug, Brant Fayez, Travis Scott, Summer Walker and Lil Durk. To reach this point, 21 Savage has undergone an incredible personal and musical development because, to be honest, there weren't really many people who believed in 21 Savage back then and envisioned such a successful career for him. To illustrate the progression a bit, let me show you his very first track. I can't get enough, we got soft, we got hard, we got purple, we got test. And a track from his latest album. Watch a half a million dollars in his plane. Let's see. Quite a drastic development, right? Okay, to be fair, that was his very first single on YouTube and it didn't go viral because his breakout year was in 2015. Even the song Red Ops skyrocketed. The music video now has over 130 million views just on YouTube. Especially in the trap scene from Atlanta, the song resonated well. However, I distinctly remember how people didn't take 21 Savage seriously precisely because of this song, Red Ops. There were many hip-hop listeners back then who couldn't quite grasp 21 Savage's style of rapping and ad-libs because what he was doing at that time was quite unique. It was something that hadn't been seen before. And personally, I now find this song impressive. In my eyes, it's somehow become a trap classic. Musically speaking, this song cannot be compared to 21 Savage's newer projects. Another reason why 21 Savage faced hate at the beginning of his career was the timing of his breakthrough. The years between 2015 and 2018 are now referred to as the SoundCloud era. The classic SoundCloud rapper had face tattoos, very noticeable hairstyles, and music with not much substance. At least that's how people who didn't delve into the matter saw it. They simply lumped all artists together, mainly because artists like Lil Pump were blowing up big time. Artists from this era were instantly labeled back then. In the eyes of many listeners, they were just mumble rappers destined for short-lived careers. However, I believe that the SoundCloud era had an extremely positive impact on the hip-hop community as listeners became more open-minded. This era birthed rappers like XXX, Kodak Black, Juice WRLD, PNB Rock, Lil Uzi Vert, Playboy Cardi, Lil Pump, and 21 Savage all artists with completely different styles. And 21 Savage cleverly capitalized on this SoundCloud hype hate wave. To leverage the momentum fully in 2015, he dropped two mixtapes, The Slaughter Tape and Slaughter King. He also released the EP Free Goo Wop. From a sound perspective, it was evident that 21 Savage hailed from Atlanta. It's your man's cause she used to drive a Honda. Although individual singles went viral for that time period back then, but he was still far from mainstream success. Nonetheless, personal interest in 21 Savage began to grow healthy during this time. Not excessively fast, but not too slow either. On July 15th came an EP that laid the foundation for today's standing of 21 Savage and Metro Boomin, Savage Mode. Metro Boomin as producer and 21 Savage as rapper. They harmonized like Frank Ribery and Robin during their prime Bayern Munich days. It was insane how well they executed that dark vibe. No Heart and X featuring Future are by far the two most successful songs on this project. And so began 21 Savage's rise to mainstream prominence. In 2016, he was also part of the XXL freshman list alongside Kodak Black, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Yadi, and Denzel Curry, then possibly the best XXL freshman cipher of all time. 30 on my beach. What? 30 on my waist. What? 30 to your face. Yeah. If you just look at the technical aspect, Denzel Curry absolutely killed it. But to be honest, the harmony in this cipher was simply unmatched. We never had such a vibe and I firmly believe that we witnessed hip hop history here because people from my generation will always look back on this freshman cipher from 2016 and remember the crazy carefree times. And 21 Savage is just a part of that. I mean, over 200 million views on just this cipher speak for themselves. Shortly after this cipher, a legendary interview with DJ Flat was released. In this interview, 21 Savage is lounging on a couch with lots of cash and a cup in hand that he sips from the whole time. And this meme emerged from there. Uh, what does the cross on your forehead signify? It's a knife. 
This clip went viral on social media. The timing of these events was really spot on. Savage Mode, XXL Freshman, and this interview all came out one after another, giving the internet multiple reasons to talk about 21 Savage. So 2016 was an incredibly strong year from a marketing perspective. However, he still had the reputation of being a SoundCloud mumble rapper. In 2017, Izza album was released with the lead single Bank Account, which has now amassed over a billion streams on Spotify alone. In my opinion, it was evident that 21 Savage took some risks on this album by trying out new sounds he hadn't brought before. That's why I find this album incredibly important for him as an artist. For example, Nothing New is a deeper track that addresses social issues on the streets of the USA. Then there's Special, a love song with a vibe we hadn't really seen from 21 Savage at that time. We got something special. Many people didn't really celebrate this album, but I must say that this album is simply groundbreaking for shaping the future sound of Savage's music. Therefore, it's a very important album for me. However, 2017 wasn't over after this album because he released another project, a collaboration with Offset and Metro Boomin, without warning. Despite working with Offset again, this project returned to its roots with that dark trap style. But that wasn't all for 2017. Two very significant songs were released that shaped 21 Savage's career. Bartier Cardi with Cardi B, which now has over 400 million streams. Bitch wanna party with a Savage, 21. Say no Savage in the ass. And of course the mega hit rock star with Post Malone. They like Savage, why you got a 12 car garage and you only got six cars? In summary, 21 Savage put out an album where he experimented as an artist to attract new fans while also solidifying his hardcore fanbase and releasing three hit singles, Bank Account, Bartier Cardi, and Rockstar. So marketing-wise, 2017 was even stronger than 2016, which was already powerful. The respect he built in 2017 through these incredible projects and collaborations slowly faded away his image as just a mumble rapper. Overall, I believe we witnessed how 21 Savage grew as a person in the following years. I Am, I Was is an album that came out in 2018. The album title reflects exactly what I just said. I believe you can definitely hear progress in the quality of his lyrics and song selection on this album. We got exactly the styles announced in Is A Album, but much better. The hit singles on this project were undoubtedly a lot, featuring J. Cole and Ball Without You. In 2020, followed by Savage Mode 2, well, I'm a, member. Yeah. Leave a, call like December. a Metro Boomin collaboration where they dared to do more than before. This album wasn't just those dark trap tracks anymore, there was much more variety. Some criticized it because they wanted that classic Savage Mode style only. However, others celebrated its diversity because actually there was something for everyone on this project. And 21 and Metro Boomin can deliver way more than just that dark vibe. Let's go back to personal development now. Compare the body language from an interview in 2022 with that with DJ Flat from 2016. You can clearly see that 21 Savage feels much more comfortable now. He has settled into his role as a rapper and knows what he's doing. Personally speaking, he comes across as much more open now. Who would have thought back in 2016 that this guy lounging on a couch would have such an amazing career, especially considering we haven't even reached his peak yet. And despite not being at his peak yet, and even though 21 Savage can now claim to have collaborated with some of the most successful and respected rappers in the scene. J. Cole featured him on his album, and the two make an incredible duo on their tracks, something I never expected, and a collaborative album from them would be fire. Then in 2022 came Her Loss, a collaborative album with Drake, and Drake elevates rappers' careers to the next level. We've seen this happen several times with other rappers, and when you drop a collaboration album with Drake, all eyes are not just in the rap industry, but in the music industry focused on you. The song Rich Flex went crazy viral on TikTok. Everyone was rapping along to it. 21. Can you do something for me? From a career and marketing perspective, everything ran perfectly again. Her loss came at a time when 21 Savage had already established himself as an artist and proven himself. 
He was already a seasoned artist with his own fan base, so no one could say that Drake somehow made him. This is a problem that other artists have struggled with in the past, especially many newcomers. Let's take Blockboy JB as an example. The 21 Savage and Drake collaboration just came at the perfect time, propelling 21 Savage's hype level to new heights at just the right moment. And now we're in 2024 with the new album American Dream released in January. I've listened to it several times now. The album title American Dream can be interpreted as his life dream, which he has now achieved. For those who may not know, 21 Savage is originally from London. His mother immigrated illegally with him to the States to provide a better life for him. Until recently, he couldn't resolve his immigration status, preventing him from traveling abroad for tours or collaborations with international artists. However, he finally resolved these immigration issues last year and immediately embarked on a European tour. I'm glad I was there for the very first show in Germany, in Dusseldorf. It was truly an amazing experience. He's an incredibly dynamic live performer, something I hadn't expected. That was perhaps the only thing missing from his career at one point, touring worldwide. Playing shows on another continent must be truly exhilarating for an artist. Sound-wise and hype-wise, he's currently at the peak of his career. The promotion with posting childhood pictures of his featured guests, the cover art, and the intro where Savage talks about everything his mother did to provide for her children, it all fits perfectly into this overall situation. If we strip away nostalgia and everything else, this might just be 21 Savage's strongest album sound-wise of all time. We have every style that 21 Savage has adopted over the years at its highest level now. His quality standard is incredibly high by now. With singles like Red Rum, we get that classic Street 21 Savage vibe. Watch a half a million dollars in his plane. I don't go through TSA to get on planes. With Pop Your Shit, Metro Boomin, Young Thug, and he deliver that dark Savage mode style. It smell like gas, I think somebody pooped. The jury came acquitted with a mop. The jury wasn't true. If you're looking for an unexpected combo, check out NHID featuring Doja Cat a song that many people might not have on their radar yet. Then there's Nina, a track with massive hit potential simply because Travis Scott is always a standout feature. Got me fucked up, nigga got me fucked up. Yeah. When I send it past the ceiling, that shit stuck up. All that talking, acting tough, get you roughed up. Need a song for your late night vibes? No problem. Listen to See the Real. Call me Santa Claus cause I'm rich, rich. Put a Birkin bag on your wish list. Jump in the DM and she missed it. You want a song with a background story? Listen to Letter to My Brother. Father God, forgive me for my sins. Take the mask off of my enemies. This out here acting like my friend. As you can tell, I'm a huge fan of this album. Let me know in the comments which track is your favorite from this new tape. 21 Savage has truly had a picture-perfect career, growing organically from 0 to 100. Perfect marketing without any weird scandals, everything ran smoothly. And we simply have to enjoy his current sound. Check out his new album linked above in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment and a rating. This will help boost the algorithm. Thank you for the support, guys. See you next time. Until then, ciao.